chapter 9. Jagan now had a separate key with which he let himself into his house softly, crossed the passage and shut the door between his part of the house and his sons. Then he hooked his upper cloth on a nail in the wall, stripped off his jibba, passed on to the backyard, poured a lot of cold water over himself and came out of the bathroom. Right. So now chapter 9 starts with uh, something interesting. Jagan now had a separate key with which he let himself into the house of Lee. Now Jagan has a separate key and he he wants a kind of a separate entry, right? I mean like uh, in other words, I mean like he uh, a separate key signifies he want to kind of separate himself uh, from the rest. Uh, rest of the inhibit, uh, inhabitants in the house, right? Uh, so that's something significant. Cross the passage and shut the door between his part of the house and his sons. I mean like he enters and he just shuts. So the other party can't just, you know, enter into his part, right? Uh, so his part of the house and his sons. Then he hooked his upper cloth. Now after work, it seems, right? Jagan goes for a change, right? He's hooking his upper cloth on the nail and taking off his jibba and passing on to the backyard and having a uh, having some cold water treatment right in the bathroom I mean, I mean like he's having a wash or something right uh, feeling hungry today he sat uh, sorry feeling hungry now today he set a bowl of water in the kitchen oven uh, cut up a few vegetables and threw them in along with a small measure of coarsely ground wheat now he's going to have his uh, food right uh, so he's having this bowl of water boiling in the kitchen oven cut some vegetables and threw them in along with some coarsely ground wheat means roughly it's not like powder right it's just ground but you know it's something in, in between powder and just particles right coarsely ground means roughly ground wheat the day had been hot and he preferred to remain without a waist. I mean, like, so he's topless, right? In other words, the, it's heat. I mean, like the heat or the unbearable temperature, right? Uh, makes him stay topless. While his dinner was cooking, uh, he stood before the gods for a second with eyes shut, then lit an oil wick and took out his small char, uh, charka, uh, yeah. Yeah, we call this uh, this uh, wooden spinning wheel, right? Uh, charka, right? Charka or chakra or whatever, right? Uh, it's like this. You know, you see this Mahatma Gandhi is using this just for spinning his own kind of cloth, right? Uh, wool. Anyway, and now we're just like so. What happens here is like Jagan after, uh, I mean, like coming after work, uh, has uh, refreshing wash and then just close his eyes for a while just as if to pray and after that he licked an oil wick what is a wick what is a wick wick is this you know what you call this um, part uh, in a candle or oil that burns right wick right took out his small uh, this uh, charka uh, or chakra right uh, wooden spinning wheel this uh, wheel right now have you seen in okay for example like uh, now this kind of a method of uh, making uh, this spinning kind of what you call this um, threads was a very age-old system right I mean like not just it was not kind of post colonial thing itself right even Mahatma Gandhi was doing this thing right uh, uh, he got the inspiration maybe from his ancestors right even we say like when when Vijay came to Sri Lanka that Kueni was doing some uh, kind of weaving right I don't know whether she's using this thing but the technology should be something like it's kind of manual technology right right so anyway uh, this thing wooden spinning wheel from behind a large bureau uh, inserted a hank of cotton 
now he, he i mean like rk narayan is describing this jagan's uh, weaving process right uh, hank of cotton means a swab of cotton cotton and turn it the wheel and drew a fine thread out of your uh, watching its growth with a sensuous pleasure i mean like now he's doing this his pastime activity right and like weaving and now some cotton uh, a hank hank means a swab or just a chunk of cotton is now becoming a nicely woven fine very refined thread and looking at this itself was a healing process itself jagan felt happy like it's you know right he's doing it as a pastime hobby right and uh, large bureau means a kind of a large uh, we'll say it's like a uh, cabinet something like that right a drew a fine thread out watching its growth with a sensuous pleasure now looking in the activity engaging in the activity gives him a kind of a pleasure kind of a internal satisfaction right sensuous pleasure the slight whirling noise of the wheel and the thread growing out or out of it between one's thumb and the forefinger was very comforting uh, stifling the nerves and thoughts right uh, now the slight whirling noise of the wheel i mean like when this uh, wooden spinning wheel just you know carries on makes its circles right it, it gives a sound right it, it, it emanates a sound it it uh, there's this whirling noise kind of twerking kind of turning round voice garra, 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 something like that right some kind of twirling voice i don't know right a wheel and the thread growing out of between one's thumb and forefinger one's thumb and forefinger right uh, just like so that mm, the thread goes on and when touching these things right when he feels these things what we call this this uh touch the stack tie kind of uh moment right so it gives a kind of pleasure to jagan that's what it says right uh comforting comforting is very satisfying and stifling the nerves and thoughts means kind of a blocking the nerves stifling means kind of yes kind of choking kind of smothering so when the nerves are smothered what happens like you know unnecessary un, un, unhappy thoughts and everything are just stopped for a while i mean like when the unhappy unnes, unnecessary thoughts are stopped or stifled you feel relaxed right that's what happens uh gandhi had prescribed spinning not only for the economic ills of the country but also for any deep agitation of the mind there you go so Gandhi has prescribed or Gandhi has suggested, Gandhi has told us, just told these people, right? Uh, Indian people just to spin, not only for the economic use, not for the poverty, not only just to make your own clothes and, you know, get rid of buying these things. But there's another thing. It's for the ease of mind means just for kind of a meditation purposes, right? Jagan mind was in turmoil. Jagan mind has a lot of trouble at this time, turmoil, a lot of issues, right? At the same time, he had a feeling that his identity was undergoing a change. At the same time, there was something else. Even Jagan is disturbed, right, at his house. But Jagan feel like, oh my God, something is going to happen to me. Some kind of a new thing is on, on my way. That's what the chapter 8 introduces us, right? Something kind of is exposed to some kind of a new way of looking at things. So that thing has kind of impact on him right now. So he thinks like, we find this in the future as well, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, the what happened in chapter 8 is the turning point in the entire novel. I mean, like, it inspired Jagan's final decision, right? This chapter 8 inspires or just like has an influence on the Jagan's final decision where this novel ends. So we'll find those things later, right? So now Jagan thinks for a moment, something is changing in him, right? feeling that identity, uh, his identity was undergoing a change. If that was so, why should he bother or resist the idea? I mean, like, if identity is changing, if life is changing, if Jagan, something is happening, something is very strange is growing inside Jagan, why would he resist? Why would he go against such an idea? It's a good thing, think Jagan, right? Committed to various things until yesterday, to the shop and the family he was a different man at this moment i mean like committed to various things until yesterday i mean like he was doing very very different things till yesterday 
I mean, like in the shop, he was trying experimenting, tried price reductions, and in the house, he is just trying to run away, tiptoeing Mali and Grace, right? Uh, and uh, uh, announcing that he doesn't want to take any part in their projects and things. He committed to various things until yesterday to the shop and the family. He was different man at the moment, but now at this moment when he's doing these actions, right? He was now at the moment what he was weaving uh, using this wooden, wooden spinning machine, right? And he thinks like something is changing in him. An internal transformation had taken place, although he still cared for the shop and the house and the, and this uh, latest contract had affected him, prof contact had affected him profoundly. I mean, yes, of course, Jagan had, Jagan had concerns. Jagan cares about his family. Jagan cares about his shop. But anyway, the contact, the bearded man and going to visit this place, right? That's a kind of profound, I mean, a significant, great kind of a change inside him. He can't deny that. There's something, something in him at this moment, transformation, kind of a change inspired by that previous in incident. But he can't exactly say what it is, right? But he knows something is happening inside him. The gods must have been taken pity on his isolated floundering condition and sent this white bearded savior for Jagan things like maybe the gods in the sky, right? Gods in the heaven have taken pity, have sympathizing, right? And he on his isolated means very lonely, floundering, write down if you don't know floundering, behave awkwardly. We have come across this word previously as well, I can remember, right? Have difficulties called floundering and struggling in other words, right? Floundering condition and sent his white bearded savior. So God has sympathized with Jagan and sent his white bearded man because God wants Jagan to be happy in a way, right? So Jagan thinks like that. Oh, thank God, right? Jagan becomes thankful in other ways, right? As he turned his, the spinning wheel, sitting there in the courtyard with the sky reaching coconut trees of the neighborhood waving amidst the stars, his mind analyzed everything with the utmost clarity. Now he is doing this activity of turning the spinning wheel, right? Uh, and at the same time, when he was sitting in the courtyard, he can see this coconut tree is reaching the sky and the neighboring, right? And the neighborhood, uh, as well as the stars in the sky, this beautiful scenery. But in his mind, right? He, uh, he wondered, right, uh, he saw and he analyzed things in a very clear way. Now, he's starting to analyze things. I will put into a kind of a perspective, that's what, put into a kind of a point of view. He's now analyzing, right, things, his life. And everything with utmost clarity, I mean, everything became kind of clear to Jagan right now. He wondered if the bearded man might not be in a visitation from another planet or otherwise what had brought him into his shop exactly when he needed him. Now Jagan thinks like, oh my god, this white bearded man must be a man from a different planet. He's like, you know, not a man belong to this earth. We know from his taste and things that he do, like he's kind of strange, right? He's Hobbies are strange, his desires are strange, his job is strange. I mean, like he like belonging to some kind of a different century. And Jagan felt like this guy is a visitation from another planet, maybe from Mars, right? Maybe from extraterrestrial creatures. That's what we call it. Extraterrestrials are from outside the, our planet, outside of our solar system, right? Called extraterrestrials. It's the like aliens, in other words, right? It's another word for aliens. So it's another word. I mean, like, as, as if in another planet, this man has come. Oh, unless, why not, right? Why did this man, why, the, why, why did, it, did this man came into his shop exactly when he needed him? Jagan thinks, at the time I was really upset, mentally agitated. This man came to my shop and just showed me something new, something that relaxed me. Why is it that? Is it a coincidence? 
you know what is a coincidence right coincidence is a thing that happens right as if in this case he thinks this is an accident is it a coincidence or have god god has planned it right uh, for him who really needed help and from whom uh, the man had said he needed help installing the images of the goddess while he himself thought that he was being helped and jagan think like now uh, the man said the bearded man took him there just to ask help from jagan just to support his idea of just bringing out this you know sculpting this statue by kind of a sponsorship kind of you know buying this land and owning this land so it belongs to jagan and so white bearded man can do on his sculpting thing on that land so that's a kind of a help the white bearded man asked from jagan but jagan thinks like no no that's not the hidden irony of this i am the one who needed some kind of a help i am the one who needed some kind of a retreat i am the one who needed some kind of escapism so in other words right now you now it everything is clear right i mean like why jagan did cut off the prices of the shop a uh, sweets right as if a one packet is 25 paisa is because he needed this retreat he needed this kind of a um, new aspect a kind of new view towards life he wanted to break up the mold he wanted to break up from that monotonous kind of pressure a uh, kind of pressurized environment that's why he just tried on experimenting like went on doing something radical and unorthodox like just you know giving the sweets and things very cheaply but that was not even answer it caused other problems right so many other problems like cooks were uh, concerned about it other businessmen were concerned about it right it was a mess but now this thing appears kind of a answer for jagan this thing means he's traveled to this you know a uh, sacred place right uh, actually he thinks like uh, this man the bearded man actually helped me rather than he was asking my help actually he by coming to me he helped me right jagan thinks he could not solve the puzzle easily and so left it alone so i mean like he can't solve the puzzle like did the bearded man need help from me or did i need the help from the bearded man right It's a kind of a question. You don't find an answer, right? He, he, both sides have kind of a truth in it. As like in the case of you have this puzzle, right? What comes first, the egg or the chicken, right? Is the egg came first or the chicken came first? You can't give an answer. Both answers, like it's like kind of a tied in it, right? So something like that. He was puzzled and easily left it alone. And anyway, it was a reposeful memory. it was reposeful means underline if you don't know reposeful relaxing kind of a slumbrous uh, kind of a what you call it quiet and tranquil like like a slumber like right uh, reposeful slumber means sleep like a, like a kind of a reverie dreams reveries are dreams right some kind of reposeful relaxing kind of a quiet and tranquil right kind of a reposeful memory uh, when you remember remember the forceful things you will you feel happy right so the man had really continued a uh, right so the man had really uh, communicated a thrilling vision when he described the goddess with five heads should he help him or not to complete his task you can think like oh i saw this bearded man how excited he is when he was describing the statues and five hey five face gayatri and he was asking for my help should i help this man or should i not right jagan is thinking right to help him complete his task of carving the statue he knew nothing about him but again like jagan don't know anything about this white bearded man other than you know what he says about himself how could he trust him i mean like how could jagan trust this man they met only twice now one time at the shop and one time at this garden right is this real is this person real is this person i mean like trustworthy is he a thief things like that came to his mind came to his mind right how could he trust him on what basis how to trust this man like trusting on what right after he finished the image 
then what? I mean, like, okay, now once he finished by, uh, making the image, the statue of Gayatri, then what? What happens? If I'm going to spend money just to buy this land, right? For him, I mean, like, what next? Like, what's the purpose, right? Live in his company in the wilderness and encourage him to carve more ima it could images. I mean, like, what am I going to do with this man? I mean, like, leaving the company in the in that wilderness. I mean, like, am I to go and support this man? Am I to just go to this wilderness, means this jungle or this forest, and support his carving activities? Right? He will carve some other images too. Once he finished this, what is that for me? Like, am I to go and support him? Right, Jagan thinks. What would happen to the hair dye? I mean, like, what would he do for a living there? Like, he will he give up hair, the hair dye, right? Perhaps he'd be expected to take charge of the business and run it in addition to his sweets, right? Uh, I mean, like, will he be a competitor to me, right? I mean, like, perhaps he'd expected to take the ch take charge of the business. I mean, like, he'll take charge of this hair dyeing business, right? And run it in addition to his tweets. I mean, like, uh, just like side by side with his business, maybe he's, he'll do this hair dyeing thing, right? Uh, certain, certain, I mean, like, this neurotic thoughts, right? Weird thoughts always comes to Jayhan's head. He can't help it, right? Uh, Run after white hair on a large scale, earn more money and ruin Mali further. Run after white hair on a large scale and earn more money and ruin Mali further. I mean, like, Jagan thinks, like, okay, now, what if, like, this bearded man, he, he makes a bond with a bearded man, and, you know, apart from sweets, they can just start a salon, and kind of a, not a salon, actually a place, a business, that hair dyeing business. And this business will grow in Malgudi, right? Because there's no other place in Malgudi that it seems where a person can get his hair dyed, right? Hair colored. So it will be a big business as selling sweets and earn more money. It will thrive. And what for? Earn more money just to make a sun like Mali even worse, even more spoiled, what's the purpose of earning money? Right now, Jagan goes extreme with these ideas. It's too far. It's far-fetching ideas, right? You know, these, these kind of things remind us about a story, right? I mean, like that story, right? So, I'll tell you the story, what happens when a person thinks too much, right? So, there was this nice, beautiful woman who once just you know milked a cow and she got a, 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 a what called what you called a, a utensil or kind of a pot full of milk right then hari right right? Uh, Hakuru Aragina Mam Vikunano. Ida Pase Tava Rupia Hakuru Vikuna Rupia Visi Pahakati. Then Magila Bi Rupia uh Dahayak Pitara, right? And now she is doing the calculation and thinking. Then from that uh, money I'll buy another like uh, so she is going processing on those kind of thoughts, right? And we can call you Ludhiag Miana Gamang then maybe Kunandiani, right? Uwa Kalma Karkarya no Ida Pase Amti Wata Harakit Ganna Kamila then it gana kamma. Then business seko uluye niya kalpana kara kari yana wa ikka pa arata then kalpana kari yana mano para gai niya ni make karo neema make karo neema mitchara mitchara salli hambe no amata right ikka pa arata galak tiya na kohe da 
ทิ้งเอ่อ <laughs> extreme like uh, i mean like it's it's useless uh you have to plan as winston churchill says like if you overthink about the end right it will not help you uh, in a chain you have to always think about the next step next step once you accomplish the next step you go to the next step once you accomplish that step you go to the other step right? that's how the chain is made not the end right you can't think of the end and you know just go on uh, that doesn't work normally right so that's the idea here but anyway uh, the story that story has something to do uh, here it's like jagan is going to the end with his ideas sometimes i mean like he's going to the extreme right that's what i want to show you uh, so here he says the things like this he are dying things this with this man what is going to do perhaps he be expected to take charge of the business and run in addition to his suite run after white tear on a large scale now this white bearded man's i mean like activity has become famous in malgudi doing it in a large scale earn more money and ruin mali further like mali will be spoiled again right because he is earning good money again right he is thinking of incorporating these businesses right two businesses together right to earn big money but what's the purpose he suspended his reflections when he stopped now even jake is tired of this his own thoughts right uh, you know thoughts are very weird things right they can go if you don't focus if you don't focus they can go anywhere just like wild horses right? that's in buddhism buddhist meditation they teach you right thoughts are like wild horses they don't stay in a place they all over they perambulate they 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 are scattered they walk they just you know travel all over the place so as a sane person as a rational person you have to take effort just to focus your thoughts right not let them run away not not let them stray not let them you know betray you or just you know wander around so you have to focus these things so in, in another way jagan knew now jagan suspended means jagan stop Right, Jagan got control of his thoughts in a way, right? He suspended his reflection and is spinning for a moment. He stopped his spinning for a moment in order to attend to the vegetables on the stove. Now we remember, right? There were some vegetables uh, uh, simmering or boiling in the stove in the oven. Then he came back to his wheel, thinking of the fixed law of nature by which wheat was cooked in exactly thirty minutes. And now he put maybe the wheat, the roughly coarse grain wheat. cook and he was calculating exactly 30 minutes right he had to attend to that then the cooking is over so he was thinking like how how exactly nature works right after 30 minutes exactly he can go there and you know get the cooked food right uh, so nature has as if a law there a fixed law of nature by which wheat was cooked in exactly 30 minutes it was cooked for 40 minutes like if it's if this wheat if this food was cooked for 40 minutes what happens it become gruel uh gruel is a kind of thin porridge kind of soup kind of you know uh this liquid then it's not that interesting right when it's gruel it's it's gooey it's sticky it's viscous it's, it's not interesting it, it gets stuck everywhere right so that's why you can't keep it for like 40 minutes it becomes gruel and was no good nutritionally you know, the, the nutrition are killed when overcooked food food making food eating that was important was the precision according to jagan now he is living healthily right and like he has his theories right so these are his theories now about food you know food making everything has to be precise everything has to be exact right the timing should be correct unless no good right everything precision means correct right exact it was a science that's what he was trying to establish in his book there you go this is a science cooking is itself a art it's a kind of science it's a kind of a 
uh, there are rules to it, right? You can't do it as you wish, right? In his book, which could have been in the hands of the public, but for Nataraj, I mean, like, think if this Nataraj guy didn't delay these things, this printing, I mean, like, by now these people have known these things, like his book is on the circulation. Nataraj just kind of, you know, delayed these things, right? So he's a little angry about Nataraj. Public but for Nataraj. Why was Nataraj so indifferent to this task while he had printed the prospectus of Mali with alacrity? Uh, yes. I mean, like, he was thinking, like, why was Nataraj so lethargic about printing this book? I mean, like, you remember, right? How long this has been dragging, if you think? When Mali is 10 years old, right? When Mali was 10 years old, when the doctor came, when Ambika was dying, he was think, talking about this book with the doctor, family doctor. Can you remember? Like, how many? 10 years back. I mean, like, now, when, when, right? Now, how old is Mali? I mean, like, he, when then we came to New Mali, he was 20 years old, right? Then after that, I mean, like, he went to America. In America, he spent like three years, right? Now, approximately more than like 13 years, maybe somewhere around 15 years, this book has been in the press itself. Nataraj is not publishing this for such a long time. But Mali came recently from America, right? I mean, like very recently from America, and he gave Nataraj his prospectus and it was immediately printed and even Jagan got a copy from the register post when he was I mean like in post in mail uh, when when he was in the shop right I mean like why why was Nataraj so lethargic about it and and what is the secret of with doing this thing with Mali with such alacrity alacrity uh, write down alacrity if you don't know kind of a uh, liveliness, eagerness, kind of a briskness, kind of a sharp speed. Speed is the alacrity, right? Nimbleness. Kind of nimbleness. Speed, you can write. Kind of uh, like uh, kind of a expediting, right? This process. So why? Why do you think a reason? I think Mali paid him a considerable amount. Right? I don't know. It doesn't say in the novel. Maybe, maybe Mali's project sound more interesting for Nataraj than this Jagan's uh, thing right maybe the idea is boring for Nataraj as yes. well so if the idea is boring it's not printing maybe right I don't know right it's not said in the novel so we have to come up with your own uh, judgment right perhaps he didn't like his idea there you go perhaps Nataraj don't like my idea of nature living but printers don't did not have to like an idea in order to print it now okay okay now okay doesn't matter Nataraj doesn't like my idea but the printing, a house that prints doesn't have to like an idea. It's their business just to print. It's their livelihood just to print, right? You you can't you can't uh, say that I don't like and like your idea, so I don't want to print your book. Printers can't say that. Printers print books. That's how they get their income, right? Uh, so that's what uh, Jagan is thinking, right? He should rather be like Sivaram. <laughs> Nataraj should be like Sivaram, right? Who had to fry something even if he didn't care for it himself. Like, yes, of course, the uh, printer should be like uh, Sivaram. Sivaram sometimes cooks sweets because he had to cook. He don't eat it, he don't like it. But he do it because that's a business. They have to sell something, so they have to make something, right? So he cooks sometimes. So he thinks, Jagan thinks like printer. Nataraj should be as Sivaram, right? Uh, who had to fry something even he hadn't he didn't care for it himself the cotton got thinner and longer as if it were the soft dough from which Sivaraman sometimes drew fine uh, kind of a vermicelli uh, vermicelli means a kind of a yeah it's like worms right wormy wormy kind of a, gives the idea it's long right it's like worm like kind of string like kind of pasta right it's thinner than spaghetti. You know, spaghetti is kind of uh, the dimensions are a little large. But imagine it's a kind of a very thin noodle, right? A thin kind of a uh, pasta, right? Uh, it's this. Uh, so now 
Now Sivaraman sometimes drew a fine vermicelli strands. I mean like Sivaraman with what he got, right? His material, his, his, his ingredients kind of build this pasta in like strings like pasta, right? Thinner than spaghetti, right? That's kind of a, uh, this strands, what you call this, right? Uh, strands means have you ever seen link yanne tuni nul wage and nul wage strands kiyanne evol right uh, that's the idea of vermicelli right uh, the wheel groaned and purred and cleared its throat i mean like where the the wheel groaned and purred and cleared its throat means now we know right while doing this activity while just spinning the wheel and weaving jagan th think these things right so the i mean like the process is going on so the cotton is turning into thread thread right strand still right uh now these thoughts are hitting Jagan's head at the same time, right? And the same time Jagan is weaving. Though the open roof, he could see the crescent moon passing behind the coconut trees. Crescent moon, the shaped moon, right? Not the full moon, but not the half moon. The shaped moons, right? You know, crescent are a On the palu here, right? This like crescent moon passing behind the coconut trees. A couple of wispy white clouds uh raising across its face i mean like the he's looking to the he can see the sky right these are the descriptions of the sky perhaps the monsoon will be breaking earlier this year and he's looking to this like the past cuddling crowd the uh, clouds in the sky uh loading buses right we call it right clouds right very fast they are moving so he thinks like uh perhaps the monsoon will be breaking earlier this uh, this year i mean like the monsoon rains may be coming early this year so he made a de uh, deduction kind of a deducing right uh, looking to the sky he reflected one enters a new life at the appointed time and it's foolish to resist time changes right even in cycles even in in weather sometimes new seasons comes you know suppressing and transcending or going beyond the previous seasons right so in the same way i mean like a new life is appointed and it's foolish to resist jagan always feels now there's a new life in him there's something new in his coming to the foreground this now something new is happening a transformation a kind of uh, what you call this uh, something evolving inside him that he even don't know right he was no longer the father of mali the maker of sweets, the gatherer of money each day. He was gradually become something else, perhaps a supporter of the bearded sculptor. Or was he really this? Or was he really his ward? I mean, like the idea is like, you know, now Jagan suddenly feel like, you know, he's feeling like detached, right? That's the idea here. He's feeling detached, like, if I am no more the son of Mali, I am no more sweet meat wind. I am no more searching and greedy for cash. What's going on me? Am I, uh, I mean like, am I supporting this man? Am I supporting this bearded man? So in other words, Jagan want to detach himself from his current identities, right? What are his current identities? How do you identify himself? as a father, as a businessman, as a person, religious person, as a, I don't know, right? So many other identities he have, right? Uh, I mean, like, he has his Gandhian identity, right? So many aspects to Jagan, so many identities he have at the same time, right? But he's kind of now detaching, kind of having his own distance from these things. He want to kind of get away from his mundane like Mali's life, shop life, cash, counting cash, that kind of a life. He don't feel he's any, he want to take any part of it for a while, right? In other words, he's longing for a break here. He want to run away. He want to escape to somewhere, right? That's what this new Janma 
thing has to do, this new life thing has to do, right? Now, there was a knock on the door. At the same time, there was a knock on the door, right? Something totally changed the perspective, right? His, his meditation, knock on the door, right? Who is knocking on the door? Which was lost in the purring of the spinning wheel. I mean, like, the sound of knocking on the door was lost in the purring wheel. Purring means, you know, this when the wheel turns around, spins, spins, right? It's It gives a sound, right? The, in this sound, in this background sound, the knocking sound was kind of lost. The middle mm -hmm. door opened and Mali came in. Ah! Suddenly the door was opened and Mali came in, looking like an arrival from another planet in the dim light. I mean, the light is dim, light is dim. Imagine light is dim means like it's not that, you know, not like nowadays they didn't have this power, they didn't have this electricity. Maybe they are using oil lamps and everything, right? That's what the wick is about, right? So it's very vague kind of a light just to, it's not a extreme light, right? Because this is a relaxing hour for Jagan. He was doing the spinning and thing in a kind of a half light. And suddenly when Mali came, his figure, the silhouettes and his shadows, right, all look like an alien, right? Another planet in the dim light. Jim, uh, yeah, Jagan had fitted 10 watt bulbs in the light sockets in order to benefit the human retina. Okay, okay, now here you go, right? There was power, right? There was power, that's why he is, sorry, right? There was power and he has just anyway fit like 10 bulbs in the light sockets. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, in, in father's time, there was not power, right? So they were using these oil lamps and everything. That's true. But in, when it comes to Jagan's time, right? Of course, there was power, right? Oh, right. We can remember this thing exactly, right? Why there was gramophones in this house, right? Gramophones doesn't work without power or anything, right? Can you remember these other, other gimmicks and everything? So anyway, anyway, the idea here is this. Uh, sometimes people won't dim light just to do their activities, right? Uh, without because high light, high, I can bright light can strain your retina, your eyes, your eyes, right? Uh, that's why, for example, like in gar in garments, right? Um, when they are doing the night shifts, the garment to when they are doing the night shifts, if you observe, right? They have these very powerful tube lights, right? In, in, in one note, like, like for a, in one hole where like thousand people live, a thousand people work together, the girls who just doing this, or girls or boys do who do this uh, swing activities, right? Just like engaging in it. I mean, like maybe uh, 10, 15 tube lights will do it. They have this enough light. But what they do is like they fix like three or two, two, two tube lights in a one stretch and they give those lights like keeps it from like less like in a distance like one meter. Right. So it's like enormous amounts of tube lights are working or just giving this kind of radiant light. So the idea is you don't feel it as if night. At the same time, right, it keeps you awake, it keeps, it strains you, it strains you in other words, right, you don't notice these things, but that's what happened, exploitation is there, right, even there, that's what, that stains the retina, right, right, it's a natural thing, right? So with those lights, you can control these things. Now what I'm telling is, right? Dim lights, so Jacob has a point here, of course, right? Dim lights are good for the retina. It's good. I mean, like, Jacob knows something, right? Sometimes his ideas are weird. That's true. But still, Jacob has some good ideas, scientifically sound ideas also. They can have, they can have this balance, right? Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's uh, authentic, right? So in, anyway, right? Uh, now Jagan has put this 10, uh, not 10, right? It's like dim lights, right? Has featured 10 watt bulbs uh, in the light sockets in order to benefit human retina, in order to calm down, right? In order to uh, 
in order to kind of relax. And when this dim light, imagine Mali comes, right? He's like a ghost, right? With all these silhouettes and his well-built stature, right? So now the question, like, why does Mali come in this old hour? Excited at this sight of his son, he's kind of excited, he's kind of nervous at the same time, right? Jacob snatched a towel and hit his chest under it. Jacob immediately took a towel from somewhere just because he was topless, right? It's a private space. It's a very private space of Jagan. Me ya kami khada gi na ta ta tak gar ta le kar. Wah gat just like you know. I mean like that. Anyway, Mali knocked right. Jagan didn't hear because the spinning wheel, the sound of the spinning wheel. So we can't blame anyone here, right? Uh, and know that he was coming, he would have his jib board. I mean like Jagan snatched a towel and his chest underneath. If he had known that he was coming, Jagan have had his jib board. I mean, like underneath also, right? Uh, he was wearing some loose garments, maybe. So if he knew that Mali was coming, he would be properly dressed, right? So her father is little um, upset about it, right? Uh, and uh, he have had his jib bone. He felt his spinning and leaped up to fetch a stool to seat Ma seat Mali, right? I mean, like he stand up from his spinning wheel and got a stool and just let Mali sit down. Mali took it from his hand muttering, what's the fuss you make? What a fuss you make? I mean like Mali looked to this thing, right? And just said like, what a fuss you make? I mean like what the sound you are making father? What kind of a mess you are making, right? Is this sound, right? Right, spinning wheel like a Right, something like that, right? What a fuss you make, says Mali, right? Planted uh, it in open court and sat on it, right? He he kept the stool somewhere around, right? And in a, in a kind of open place and just sat on the stool, right? While Jagan stood about uncertainly, uh, Jagan is not sure, like, I mean, like, why this guy comes? Why is Mali coming at this odd hour? Because Jagan in his mind was now very detached, right? At this moment, he was getting detached from Mali, he was getting detached from the shop. And he right? Uh, the idea. Uh, and uh, Jagan was a little nervous, right? And he was uncertain. Mali said, sit down, father. Mali commanded, sit down now, father, please, right? But don't turn that wheel. It's noisy and I want to talk to you. Please, while I'm talking, don't turn that wheel, right? Right? Just something like that, right? You can visualize this uh, uh, situation, right? I mean, uh, at this, Jagan felt a sinking in his stomach and smacked his drying lips. When Mali said just to sit down to talk, he felt his uh, uh, stomach sinking. I mean, like, sinking means stomach shrinking. It's like he's nervous a little bit, right? Smacked his drying lips. I mean, like his mouth is dried, right? When your mouth is dried, you know, you are a little nervous and you smack your lips as if just to refresh yourself, right? Uh, he moved away from his spinning wheel, uh, folded his arms across his chest and asked, right, folded his arms now father, right? And asked from Mali, now tell me, what do you want? Ask Jagan from Mali, right? Everyone talks about you in the town, said Mali in a tone of accusation, right? What a mess, so what a fuss you make means, right? That's another idea, right? Like, what are you doing in this town? Everyone is talking about you, the town, right? 
the town's gossip, town's speculation is about this father. I mean, like, everyone talks about you in the town, says Mali, accusing me, kind of charging. Jagan stifles slightly, but said nothing. Jagan's uh, stiffen means got a bit rigid, right? It's like, tikak. But didn't answer. The sinking in the pit of his stomach was gradually leaving him as he remembered that one out not to resist when circumstances pushed one across the threshold of a new personality. I mean, like he is getting this gut feeling now. Even his stomach sink before now he is getting this gut feeling inside him, kind of a kind of courage inside him. Right, said that. Uh, one remembered, he remembered that one out not to be resist when circumstances pushed one across the threshold of a new personality. And like if he's going to be a new person right now, he's going to be having a new new life right now, new Atma, new Janma, right? He's on his way and uh, he shouldn't be nervous, he's, right? He, he has a new personality, so he should face these things, right? As a man, not running away uh, from these things as he did before, right? Jagan felt a kind of a gut feeling inside him, right? What do you talk, what do they talk about? He asked, like, what are these people talking about me? He asked. He was beginning to shed to the O in which he had held in his held his son. Uh, I mean like he was beginning to shed the O in which he had held his son. I mean like now he's in other words, the idea here is uh, Jagan was a little bit surprised of his son, right, when he came into the room. Now, as if like he was still focusing on that thing, right, he's asked like, uh, now the son is kind of confused by that question, right? He's asking like, who are they? Like, when son says like, uh, when Mali says like, they are, what did Mali say? Uh, everyone talks about in the town, right? So Jagan asked, what do they talk about? Jagan asked. Uh, and who are they? That's the question, right? Uh, ask, ask Jagan from Mali. And who are they? The Ananda Bhavan said and a number of others were discussing you yesterday. I mean like, haven't Ananda Bhavan, the said from Ananda Bhavan and some other members talk with you yesterday about these things, right? Ask Mali from Jagan. Didn't they visit you? I mean, like we know, Mali has connections with Ananda Bhavan, right? It's his dining shop. I mean, like it's the shop that he visited mostly. So it's no wonder, right? Maybe Ananda Bhavan person say it has influenced Mali. Just speak to your father and just, you know, settle this thing. Maybe he has told it. We don't know still, right? Maybe that's the reason Mali is here. We have to think all the possibilities as Jagan thinks, right? Uh, Jagan did not wish to pursue the subject and so mumbled. I mean, like, Jagan didn't want to. It's not interesting for Jagan just to talk about these things, right? Let them, let them talk about these things, right? He felt unhappy having to speak in a new tone of voice to Mali, from whom he used to pine for a word. I mean, like, pine means here, like, languish or kind of uh, ache, painfully ache, right? Uh, I am a new personality and have to speak a new tongue. He could not judge the expression on his son's face because the crescent moon was now completely gone and his bulb enveloped everything in a pale yellow light making all faces and all moons look alike. Now the idea is this, right? So father just shoots out the idea, right? Isn't it? Uh, I don't want to talk about the Ananda Prabhupada people and their business discussions and everything with you. Uh, Jagan felt happy just to, you know, kind of uh, to say these things to Mali. He felt unhappy having to speak in a new tone, uh, new tone of voice for Mali. Now, Jagan's tone is even different. See, when he detached from all the connections, all the uh, gravity he had for Ham, Haum and his children, now his attitude, his tone, tone his voice, mood, Everything changes, right? So now he easily kind of enters Mali. Uh, and I am in a new personality and I have to speak a new tongue. I mean, like, he, he simply said, right? Yeah, 
I have reduced the price, yes, because I'm a new personality and I have to speak a new language. I'm not the old, old Jagan anymore. I'm a new Jagan. Right. So I do speak a new language and my new language is like giving sweets and everything just for like 25 pi paisas, right, cheaply. So what? What are you talking about? That's the kind of an idea is just, you know, conveyed here, right? And everything is dark now. Everything is, you know, the dark. Like the moon is gone. The moon is hidden, right? The crescent moon is gone. And only the bulb, this kind of 10 watt bulb, this dim light and everything is swallowed in a kind of a yellowish kind of a darkness, right? Mali took a paper from his pocket, tried to read it and said petulantly, why can't you have better light? I mean, like, Mali had a piece of paper, he took it from the uh, pocket and tried to read it, but it was dark now, right? Ten words, you can't read anything in ten words, right? And he was becoming petulant, means kind of irritable, kind of angry, kind of annoyed, right? Why can't you have bright light? What the heck, right? What the hell, right? Why can't you have any bright light? Jagan replied, light rays should soothe the optic nerves and not to stimulate them. Lights have to soothe the optic. I mean, like the inside the eye, you have these optic nerves and things, right? And uh, light should soothe the optic nerves and not stimulate them, not kind of a agitate them, not kind of a stimulate them, keep them charged, keep them always that's why we sleep in the first place. Like, what's the purpose of sleeping? Why you are why are we closing our eyes, right? I mean, like, why the eyes are closed when we are sleeping? Because for a certain time, eyes need rest. Eyes need the rest from the light. Because eyes are working, right? When the sleep, the sleep, we close our eyes. It's a natural thing. Most animals close their eyes while sleeping, right? Because they want to cut off the light. Because that's a kind of a relaxation for the eyes, right? Have you ever thought about it that way? I mean, yes, that's why I gave you the gar garment kind of the example, right? In garments, you don't find it. When they're an eye shift, a lot of lights kind of stimulate, right? That's the idea here. Stimulate the eyesight so you don't feel sleepy. You feel like working and working and working. That's a way of exploitation, right? So there's a truth here. Of course, there's a kind of scientific truth here, right? Uh, and But the way that Jagan practices is the problem, right? Uh, Jagan replied, right rays should soothe the optic nerves and not stimulate them. The boy smiled cynically and said, this cable came in the afternoon from my associate. See, this cable, this telegram, cable is another word for a telegram, it's a kind of a, a kind of electronic, kind of very speedy communication, not, not like nowadays we don't have, S, they don't have SMS and everything, right? They have cables, kind of telegrams, right? From my associates here, yeah? see they are from my business associates. Now they are talking to me through Telegram. When Jagan heard the word, when he heard the word associates, Jagan did not need to hear anything more. Yo, enough, enough, enough. La, this is not what I want to hear from you, right? Oh, no, they are associate. Oh, right, just like that's the idea, right? Need to hear no more, right? So he was so disgusted from that, right? He was not scared as he would have been 48 hours ago. 48 hours ago, like two days back, where if he heard the word associate, where if he heard the word business said by Mali, Jagan is very upset. Jagan is very agitated. Jagan is very uh, like uh, afraid, right? But now Jagan is not afraid because he's got a new Janma. He got a new transformation. He's transcended his past, right? He is a new person as he thinks, right? Something happened to him, something miracle took place in his life and he can face these things as a brave man, right? And he's not afraid anymore, right? And uh, he reflected, uh, in, in few hours, right? Uh, yeah, so 48 hours ago he was afraid, but now he is not afraid. In few hours, I have undergone a lot of changes, but the boy doesn't know it. He reflected. And Jagan thinks to himself, right, inside. He doesn't speak, he thinks. Uh, within like very few hours, I am a changed person. I'm a very changed person. I'm not your old Jagan. I'm not your old father. I'm not, as a matter of fact, the person who I lived in before. I'm totally new, brand new, a new life, a new genre, but Mali doesn't know it. He thought, right, Jagan? It's thinking. Instead of answering, right? Uh, he reflected. Let me be kind to him. No harm in showing him kindness. After all, 
all this time sometimes Jagan's approach was like he brusquely he sharply said like he bluntly said no 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 to your business plan now Jagan thinks like he's calm now yeah I should have spoken to my boy, boy little calmly little nicely in a kind of kind way and there's no wrong no nothing wrong with being kind to Mali he felt a stab of habitual tenderness as old days right Jagan felt a little bit tenderness inside him this kind of softness kind of a mellow mushy kind of a feeling inside him right um, and a regret at sounding so officious and a regret he disliked to sound like so official right uh, just like in a very formal right to Mali he simply asked the father asked from Mali what does the cable say Mali spread it out again to catch the light. Now Mali is just like trying to spread the cable and just to read it as if, right? He can't see it, but he's give a try again to catch the light. Failed and repeated from memory. He can't read it what is in the cable because the room is in dark, right? Uh, his own. Uh, now he, from the memory, Mali says what is in the cable. Please, cable, uh, please, cable, Status of our project, <laughs> Mali even didn't complete it, right? He can't say these things from memory as well, right? Uh, he, he like, this idea doesn't make, right? Any sense? Please, cable, status of our project. <laughs> That's what Mali could read from the memory, right? What's in the cable? Uh, what's in the telegram, right? Jayan looked bewildered. <laughs> just like what's in the cable is this in the cable what kind of a cable is this what kind of a message is this right Jagan looked bewildered Jagan looked kind of confused right this was not the English he knew I mean like this was like Chinese for Jagan this was like kind of a Latin for Jagan <laughs> right stay please cable Karunakar telegram status of our project Telegram, right? Uh, English he knew. Except for the word cable, the rest did not mean anything. I mean, like for Jagan, except the word cable, right? Uh, others didn't make any sense, right? What kind of English? What is the idea? It's not clear for Jagan, right? He said, Why should they ask you to cable? An order letter will do, right? So, why, why did they, like, why did, why should they? Ask you to cable. I mean, like, why is this cable? I mean, like, why is this telegram? You should have written ordinary letter. His ideas are much more clear. Ideas are much more focused, right? Ideas are much more concentrated than this cable. They will ask in simple words, like, why should they ask you to cable? Why they do you want you to cable? Right? A simple letter will serve the purpose said Jagan to Mali, right? So the, the the idea is like everything is a miscommunication, misunderstanding, yeah? Right? Some kind of situation like that. It's a kind of hilarious situation. And the idea is, you well, know, is laughing at us, in other words, right? Rakin laughing at the characters. Uh, every character is not immune from R.K. Narayan's Grim him, I mean, R.K. Narayan is laughing at Jai Jagan, obviously. R.K. Narayan is laughing at Mali, obviously. R.K. Narayan is laughing at Grace, obviously. R.K. Narayan is laughing at, I mean, Cousin, obviously. Sivaraman, Captain, Seth, everyone doesn't escape R.K. Narayan's dark humor, right? So that's a nice thing just to reflect on.